500. Twenty. Ten. Hi, fellow Boeing enthusiasts. I'm going to give you an update on my progress on the X737 overhead panel. During the last week and a half or so, I have had a chance to do a couple more panels, although it's going slow. It's going to take a while to get this all built out. Uh, let's start off with a uh, view of the uh, uh, the APU panel which looks like this my version and as you can see uh, there are some warning lights the maintenance light which uh, tells the, tells you that uh, you can actually operate with that on you don't have to shut it down or anything but it tells you there's some problems in the uh, earlier 737s this blue light was a uh, low oil quantity light I think this looks at a few more things besides that, but that uh, it just tells you that maintenance needs to service the APU before uh, before you leave the next maintenance station. Then there's a low oil pressure light, which obviously tells you that there's low oil pressure. There's also a fault light, which tells you there are some uh, problems with the APU. Could be a number of things, everything from uh, high uh, temperature or uh, just a myriad of things. So uh, th that is a um, another s auto shutdown. All of these yellow lights here, the oil pressure, the fault, and the overspeed all cause the APU to shut down. So you can't restart the APU after those lights come on. So those are uh, the amber lights are shutdown lights. Uh, interesting that the overspeed, when you stop, when you shut down the APU each time, uh, it sends the overspeed signal to a sensor that shuts down the APU. So every time you shut down the APU, you are actually doing an overspeed uh, test. Uh, and uh, of course, if uh, this light is, uh, is on, you know there's a problem. Also, if you uh, start the APU and shut it down prior to getting up to speed, this light can come on too. In which case, you can restart it by just letting it, uh, shutting it off and letting it restart. The uh, EGT um, gauge just gives, let's go ahead and start the APU here. Um, Got to hold it to a few seconds, five potatoes maybe, just to make sure it engages. And then it spring loads back to the on position. This panel down here will be built next. Now you can see the AG, EGT coming up on the, uh, on the uh, APU. Now on the earlier APUs, uh, 737s, you can see there's the bus light telling us that the APU is on the bus or available and up to speed. Voltage and uh, RPM is up to speed. There's no, uh, there's no CSD for the APU, so the APU has to be running at very close to 100% RPM uh, to keep the frequencies at about 400 cycles per second, which is the requirement for the uh, uh, APU. Now the uh, where this wiper, the left wiper, on the earlier 737s, there was only one wiper. And uh, because there was only one wiper, uh, this space uh, this space was just uh, not needed, and it was actually used for the uh, amperage of the uh, APU. Now, that's been taken care of with the uh, meters, which we'll talk about in a, in a moment. But, uh, of course, there's a wiper control here. That can control the wiper and of course these things can all be controlled from either the simulator or from the air manager panels. So that's pretty much all there is for the APU. Uh, let's get rid of that and let's go next to the uh, to the meters, electric meters. Uh, I'm going to show you that one right here and you're going to see right away there's a big problem. 
<laughs> which you all saw. First of all, I'm going to have to try to find this font. But the other thing you'll notice is that these, uh, these numbers here, even though the battery switch will turn the meter on and off, uh, unfortunately, there are no data refs uh, variables available to the, externally from the simulator for these numbers. So I've contacted the author, Benedict Stratman, and he will probably be working on that. Um, and we'll get that included. But for the time being, I thought about trying to get fancy and, and estimate these numbers and try to have them change with the proper switch positions, but it just it's just not worth it because what we want to do is mirror the sim, and we should be able to do that when we get a, a simple couple simple data refs to do that. Now the uh, meters panel, as I said, the earlier 737s had some round dials to, to do this uh, for the... Uh, the ground power and the, uh, the actually it was just for one. There was actually one meter for each, each uh, ammeter for each generator, and there was some DC meters too. And it was uh, not quite as nice as this uh, this uh, screen that can show you a lot more information at the same time. Um, the old the old one you had to switch between volts and freaks, and you were reading the same numbers on the. Uh, uh, amperage and all that you're looking at uh, on different the same gauge in different settings so anyway here we go we have the uh, battery switch down here and it's guarded just click to open and then once you get it you'll turn the battery off or back on you can see how that works uh, this this is the cabin utilities this is a uh, galley power I think was what it used to be called but it includes some uh, other things like the drain mass, the heaters for the drain mass for the labs, things like that. And uh, pretty important. I can remember if once in a while those drain mass will, the heating will fail and a, a big ice ball of urine will form on the, <laughs> at minus 40 up there at cruise altitude and, uh, and will uh, during descent sometimes drop on a house and crash through their roof and give them a surprise and as it melts it's even a bigger surprise. <laughs> the uh, in-flight entertainment and passenger seat power here and then we have um, two selectors to select the meters up here so you got standby power you got battery uh, bus power battery uh, aux battery if it's installed you notice uh, there's zeros here so it's not installed on the X737 as it stands and then the transformer rectifiers if you want to think of it to draw this line up here right about right through here this is DC stuff, and this is AC. So we got DC amps and volts. We got AC amps, volts, frequencies. Of course, there's no frequency for a direct current. So TR1 is on the left side of the airplane. TR2 and TR3 are on the right side. Now, there uh, is a warning light up here. If I can find the right one, it must be this one. TR unit. And this comes on when you have failure of either TR1 or TR2 and TR3. Like most of the systems on the airplane, if you lose everything on one side, the, you lose your redundancy from one side to the other, you're going to get that light on. Uh, the electric light has to do with DC power uh, and only on the ground, and then uh, the battery discharge just tells you that you have an excessive rate of discharge of the battery and you need to figure out what's going on. So that's, that's the electric panel. Pretty simple, the meters. Now this all fits together, and I, you'll see what I did a like a mini me version of the panel. These are the panels that I've done so far, and I had to make them small just to get them on there. I guess they could be a little bit bigger because they could extend from the top. Now I envision this being placed on a monitor in the uh, portrait mode, so it'll have the long side. So we'll be able to run this at about half the size that they uh, were. I can show you. Let's take the uh, Let's take the, the uh, fuel panel, and I'm going to set that to uh, half size, and this will give you an idea. That's about half size, so that would be about the size that it would be if it was on an HD monitor. What would really be nice is to run them on an, I designed this so that if we ran them at the resolution that I was showing them to you before, which is uh, the uh, full resolution, I'll turn on the uh, panel there you can see the difference you know it's this is a 
this is a quarter, a half the size. So, so if we have an, an HD, uh, uh, an Ultra HD, or a, what a 4K monitor, uh, we would be able to run these with this resolution. So that would be better, uh, but it would take a large monitor to make it scale right, probably about 40, 42 inch. So I'm going to look into that in the future. But uh, let's close this uh, instrument. But even in the small mode, you can see everything works, and it's kind of cool to see uh, see the things interact, you know, and see how they affect each other. Um, like I pull the CSD here. Let me turn the generator back on. And you can see it turn the. Uh, you can't turn the generator now because now it's been disconnected from the engine. And uh, cross feed and uh, fuel fuel feed and all that stuff. So. So it's coming along, and I think uh, it's just a matter of time as I uh, knock these off a little bit at a time. So, anyway, more later. Keep watching back and uh, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll uh, be you'll get an email whenever I've made another panel. And uh, I'll try to every one time I get one or two more. My kind of general approach. This is kind of the layout of the panel. My general approach is going to be probably to come over here and work on the uh, pressurization controller and those meters next and then from there I'm going to work up uh, through the door lights and uh, let's see what else is let me look down here the door lights would be right under the uh, this panel and then there's a cockpit voice recorder that would be on top of those the uh, meter the uh, gauges pressure alt altimeters I guess cabin altimeters and rate for the pressurization. So I think next I'm going to do the pressurization system and then I'm going to work my way up here. And my goal then being eventually to have everything across the bottom done and then I'll start filling in the top. Um, and this, that should go fairly quickly, but nothing goes quickly when you're you know, having to make each little dial. And fortunately, uh, the longer I go, the more of the, the, uh, like the knobs and other things and buttons, I can use them over the artwork so I don't have to start from scratch. But I'm, I am constantly making new, uh, new um, uh, enunciators. There is a mess of enunciators on these panels, as you can tell. Thanks a lot. Talk to you soon.